Okay, welcome back everybody to the world's worst fishing and uh, I'm Chris Jones and uh, thank you so much for uh, watching today. Um, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to kind of step <clears throat> out of our comfort zone and, uh, and do something kind of new. Um, we're going to make a saltwater color. Um, electric chicken is what it's called and electric chicken is very popular amongst you know grubs and small swim baits for inshore fishing. Um, you know, the, the few times that I've used artificial baits, saltwater fishing, I've actually thrown, I think they were maybe, uh, saltwater assassin little swim baits in electric chicken. Uh, it's a very popular color, kind of like new penny, uh, from Berkeley Gulp. And, uh, I have a great new penny recipe, so we'll do a video on that as well. But, uh, I figured it'd also be good to start doing some saltwater colors, um, in case any of, uh, you guys out there in YouTube land want to make some baits for your uh, inshore fishing as well because um, you know there's just a whole nother universe of saltwater anglers that also throw artificials you know as much live bait as there is in the saltwater world there's a ton of artificial too and a little swim bait or a soft plastic jerk bait or a grub bait um, anything like that always makes a great option so um, we're going to be doing electric chicken um, we're going to go ahead and kind of look into uh, everything that we need real quick but just wanted to hit a quick introduction and um, thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, so electric chicken <coughs> is like a hot pink and a green chartreuse, like a lime truce. <coughs> Sorry, I got a cough all of a sudden. And you can put gold flake in it. I'm gonna put some holographic flake in it. <coughs> um, that's how I've done it before. I made this color a long time ago for a buddy of mine who does a lot of inshore around here. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So, hot pink, one side, simple enough. Okay, just gonna add enough to give it plenty of pink. And I'm gonna make mine a chartreuse lime, a lime truce, if you will. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of chartreuse, but then I'm gonna add a little bit of just regular green, like, like flow lime, I think this is called. Um, just to green it up a little bit, you know, chartreuse by itself is real yellow. Perfect. That's exactly what I was wanting right there. Now, it looks like I need to thicken it up a little bit, but I don't want it too thick because I really want to see that holographic flake uh, since that stuff is just so gorgeous to look at. So, um, that's what we're going to do for our pink side right there. Pretty much just straight pink. I'm not going to alter that. I really like the hot pink from Lure Works. It is, uh, it's a pretty jamming color. So we're just gonna add a little more lime here, thicken it up, and then a little more chartreuse. Probably about, this mixture is probably about half and half, um, if I had to guess. But, you know, in the spirit of fun and creativity, you know, we're, we're mixing it up right here on the spot. I don't have an exact recipe, so. Um, even though I recommend starting learning exact recipes, I find that, uh, you know, the longer you're in this game, it's fun to try and outdo yourself each time. So if I make June bug, I don't even count the drops anymore. I just try to make it look as good as I can. Uh, I try to make it look better than the time before. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna add, I think the uh, flake in most of the examples is on the green side. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some of this silver hologram flake. All right, boom. And we're really gonna load it up here. Cause that stuff is pretty magnificent. All right. So now we're gonna stir that in for a little bit. Get it nice and stirred in. And there's kind of what we have, beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Perfect, all right. And then we'll uh, actually, we don't need to stir the pink side again because there's no glitter in it. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to start with uh, injection real quick. So we're going to do a pink top and a green bottom. So uh, let me go ahead and get my gloves and get everything ready. I'm kind of not exactly ready yet. Okay, so one of the things I really wanted to do is a jerk bait. So this mold over here is a jerk bait. Okay, real common in saltwater fishing. 
and then the mold on the right is um golly i can't even get spilling it everywhere and then the mold on the right is actually um a stick worm i figured hey you know why not show what it looks like in you know the most bass bass lure that there is <laughs> a stick worm because this can be a bass fishing color and uh you know i imagine this color would would make like a really good like craw color or creature bait color for bed fishing because uh, it's really visible and you know you flip an electric chicken you know craw bait into a mold where that fish has been looking at green pumpkin and white all day gotta bite it right okay so now we're gonna do some small hand poured swim baits and uh, so we're gonna pour these are top to bottom so we're gonna pour our bottom color first which is the green and so we're just going to kind of pour them kind of in the middle of the front and we're going to let the plastic kind of fill in towards the tail on its own. We don't really need to move it back and forth and that's how you can keep an even laminate if you're hand pouring is just to let the plastic even itself. Okay, so we're going to give this another mix just to make sure that our flake is good and suspended. Okay, we're just going to hold it steady and pour till it's a little, you know, past halfway up the mold. Okay. And last but not least. Okay, looking good. All right. Now we'll let those set for just a few moments and uh, and then we'll pour the top color, which is the uh, pink. Okay, those have set up. They've kind of got a nice little uh, skin on the top. They're still a little gooey, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our pink, okay? And the pink is pretty hot. Uh, I want it hot so that it will really bond to the bottom color, okay? Just gonna take it nice and slow. Now these are pretty small swim baits and they're a little challenging to pour cleanly. So we're gonna do the best that we can, but I want the top color to be hot enough that it really um, bonds well to to the bottom so yeah these are like I said these are these are a challenge to pour cleanly but uh, we're getting better I guess so and I'm also currently leaning on a bar stool doing this over a camera normally you don't have to uh, go the go to all that trouble so okay Moving on to this one. All right. Looking really good in the tail on that one. All right, that's about full. Last but not least. These are electric chicken hand pours. Yeah, looking nice, looking good. Okay, we'll let those sit and then we'll look at all of them. All right, let's take the first one out here and uh, see what we got. If I can get it started. Yeah, there we go. Get the tail out. Beautiful. There it is. Electric chicken. You can see the, I can't even think, hologram glitter in it. All right, here is the next one. Looking good. All right, so we'll set that one down. All right, there's that one. Looking good. These are looking really good. It's a really fun color to make. It's bright. It's exciting. It's it's kind of like a <clears throat> it's a happy color. <laughs> it's an upbeat color. So next, we're gonna add some eyeballs. And since these have a lot of green in them, we're gonna put like a green and gold eye on these, and I think that will look pretty good just going to dab a little glue okay and here we go these eyes are a little tricky because they're small look at that I think that's pretty jam up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish up these eyes we'll clear dip and then we'll look at all of the baits. We'll look at the injection molded ones and, uh, and then we'll kind of lay everything out. 
Okay, time for a little clear dip action. Nice and slow. Yeah. I've just found that the slower you do this, the less likely you are um, for bubbles. You know, if you do it real fast, sometimes you can like trap air. And uh, yeah, I just think, you know, as I do this more and more, I think going a little slower is the way to go. Let's see, let's just clip off this little, uh, sorry, I've got the camera angled down a lot. All right, that one's going in the bath. Next up. Okay. Here's number three. And here's number four. Last but not least. All right, let's look at these jerk baits. From earlier, yeah. Check them out. There it is. Boom. Electric chicken on the jerk bait. Let's see, uh, get this one out here. That's killer, guys. Looking good. All right, and now we'll look at these stogies here. Just to kind of show you that it can be a regular bass worm color too. Look at that. Those look really nice. Yeah. Yep, electric chicken, y'all. Yeah, let's get some of these jerk baits over here. Yeah, we'll get a uh, we'll get a swim bait out of the water. <laughs> what do y'all think? Pretty killer. And you can tell, look, look how the pink changes. And this is an interesting thing. These, because they're injection, they're laminated all the way through. So the pink is constantly kind of being laminated and mixed with the uh, green chartreuse, but the tail portion of this one isn't. So look at how much more, how much more the pink comes out in the portion that isn't uh, interacting with the uh, green side. So just interesting how when you put two colors together, how it changes both colors. I've always found that fascinating. So there is electric chicken. Let's just take a, a look at these swim baits here. I think it looks good with those kind of green hologram eyes, so to speak. Yeah, I think that's really, really, really nice. Those in the jerk baits are definitely my favorite. You know, I think I'm also probably just used to seeing a color like this in a bait that's made to be, you know, uh, thrown on a saltwater jig head and, you know, swam through the flats after a redfish or a trout. But, um, yeah, that's how you do it, guys. It's a pretty simple color. Pink, chartreuse, green, you know, whatever flake you, you want. I, I like the hologram flake because that's just kind of how I know the color. But you could easily go with gold, um, little gold. You could easily go with both, you know, do a little mixture of both. So... Um, that's just one way to do it right there Okay guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Uh, I don't know how well you can see those It's always tricky to like hold them this way uh, without them falling off, but um, There's electric chicken. We're gonna be doing a couple more saltwater colors just coming up, but uh, you know I figured hey, it's time um, You know, there's a lot of great saltwater colors. There's a lot of great saltwater soft plastics out there um, You know like you can do you can buy like a shrimp mold and uh, and make all these colors in like a little shrimp, you know, that you can um, that you can fish on the flats or however you want. Um, so, you know, this is just kind of one of the, you know, this is like a popular colors for saltwater, and um, it's all I know it's also used uh, in striper fishing. Um, you know, they kind of use similar colorways, you know, going after saltwater species and landlocked stripers. So, um, you know, you can make those and try them on your striped bass at home. But um, anyway, that's just, uh, you know, one saltwater color out of many, 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 many. I mean, this is a whole nother world, so to speak. Um, but, you know, I'm comfortable with a few saltwater colors that I've done before. This is one of them. And everybody kind of knows electric chicken. So um, if you've ever thought about making it, it's fairly easy. Um, that's one way to do it. Um, I'm sure you can, 
adjust it however you want. You might even add uh, some flake or something to the pink side. But um, this is just kind of the color as it's, I think, more widely known. But um, anyway, just uh, wanted to show you guys something completely different. Um, we'll do a couple other saltwater colors for sure. I think they all look really good in swim baits. Um, you know, and then uh, and then also a jerk bait or something like that. Um, you know, I don't really think too many too many guys are throwing stick worms at, at the redfish, but I don't know. Maybe they are. Um, you know, I know that you know you can use creature baits that kind of look like a little fiddler crab or something. But um, anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Got to head back inside. It's getting a little late. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know how you think I did. Chris, those are great. Chris, those suck. Let me know. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching.